I haven't used this stuff in years, but you know, we're gonna use it today because we're doing all this food. Next we have our mixed vegetables. This was actually a staple in my household growing up. Um, mixed vegetables are actually my favorite. You can season with a little salt, a little pepper, um, a little chicken bouillon, uh, whatever you would like to put in there. We're gonna get this all mixed in and all covered up. This was like the utmost absolute side um, every night. Whether it was like chicken and the rice, we always had to mix vegetables. Whether it was like uh, roast beef and rice, we always had to mix vegetables, you know. But what we're going to do with this today is just get it all incorporated in here in our cream of chicken and cream of mushroom soup. I want to get this totally covered. We want all these flavors to get infused in there. Don't be scared of little color changes either. Mix this in like a, a little yin and yang type thing. So next, we're gonna add in here is a little bit more vegetables. One of uh, my absolute favorite vegetables, um, simply because you can steam it, you can blanch it, uh, you can roast it, you can pan fry it. Um, we're gonna add here. It's our little broccoli for us. Broccoli is so mutable. It's 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 such an incredible vegetable to use. But um, you know, broccoli is going to be oh, making a mess there. Broccoli is such an incredible vegetable to use. You can literally mute it and um, make it taste like whatever you want it to taste like. Um, incorporate it into any of your dishes that you'd like to incorporate it into. Like I said, you can blanch this, you can roast it, you can pan fry it, uh, you can steam it, which is kind of how most people eat it. They eat like the steamed broccoli. Um, me personally, I like my broccoli stir fried. I actually recently purchased a big wok off of uh, Amazon for that purpose. So we're going to get this all incorporated in there and get our broccoli and our mixed vegetables in here with this cream of chicken and the cream of mushroom soup. We're going to lay this all flat afterwards. Let's grab this back here. want to get it everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Miss no meals, miss no spaces. Perfect. Let's get that out there. Next, what we're going to do, we're going to add um, a little bit of this black pepper. I love black pepper. You know, um, black pepper is, is one of the biggest things that's in my arsenal in my kitchen. I put it on dishes that some people don't believe that it actually belongs in. But I love, love, love pepper. You can do it to your heart's desire, but for me, pepper is where it's at. Next, we have my favorite salt, which is this Himalayan pink salt. Um, you can use kosher sea salt, which, is ha which has a saltier uh, taste to it. Um, I use Himalayan because salt, uh, not really my thing, um, but it's still good as a seasoning. This is Himalayan pink salt, it has a light salty texture. We're going to get this mixed in as well. Get this in here mixed in, just so the pepper and salt aren't just sitting on top. We want to get all these flavors again infused throughout the whole dish. How would you feel if you only had pepper on just the top layer of your dish? Uh, with me, um, unlike a lot of people, uh, if I don't see the pepper in my food, it's not enough. I'm going to get this in here. It looks like the pepper's all through there. I'm pretty sure the salt is in there as well. We're going to just reflatten this out. Because next, we're going to add one of the most greatest ingredients in the world. Cheese. We're going to add some cheese here. This is the Mouch uh, cheddar cheese. It's shredded. Um, we're going to use the half of that we have left here today. I'm just going to put this in there. Cheese itself. 
easy fix. Just gonna break this cheese up in there. Shredded cheese has a tendency to do that um, due to the high content moisture once it's in the refrigerator. Don't be scared to just use your spatula, your fork, or whatever. Um, just to break that up. It's gonna fall apart easily. Cheese goes really well with vegetables. Um, growing up, one of my favorite things to eat was actually cheese and vegetables, preferably, you know, broccoli and cheese. And I'm pretty sure some of y'all had the broccoli and cheddar soup. Um, that was one of my favorite things to get at, at uh, Friendly's, if you've ever been to Friendly's, or even at places like Denny's, when Denny's used to have the broccoli cheddar soup. And just look at that concoction, look at that, that mixture in there. You see the vegetables, the broccoli, you see the cheese, and you see the pepper, which is, I told you guys before, my favorite ingredient. So again, we're just going to mix all this in, get it all incorporated, and we flatten it out. Look at this beautiful, vibrant color, this rainbow arrangement of vegetables and cheese, immaculate. Next, another incredible ingredient. We have this oven roasted diced chicken breast. Diced chicken breast is going to be perfect for this. It fits well with the cheese. It fits well with the broccoli. Um, we can use about half of the bag. You to your heart's desire. I'm going to use half the bag. I'm going to get this mixed in here. And we're going to do the same exact thing that we did with the cheese, the broccoli, the salt, and the pepper, which is to get this all incorporated. Truthfully, this was one of the earliest things I ate growing up, uh, second to shepherd's pie. And the only reason I got introduced to this was because my mom and my aunt got tired of me always asking for shepherd's pie. Uh, and this was like their substitute because at that time they were tired of buying and stocking the freezer full of beef. <laughs> there, were, there was five of us growing up, so. Oh, look at that. It looks full, it looks well-bodied, it looks hearty even. Everything in here just looks immaculate. We have chicken, we have cheese, we have broccoli and mixed vegetables. Man, you guys, you guys got to try this. This is incredible. Next, we're going to do, we're going to add another part of my favorite things to do here. Biscuits. We have these Originals Grand Biscuits. We have the eight big biscuits, so we will have more than enough to cover this. Um, the thing about these Grand Biscuits cans, they always remind me of party time. Here's why. Listen. You get that nice little rip. You take this. Oh, oh I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Here it is. There it is. That's that confetti pop. You ever had a party popper and it does that? That's what it reminds me of. So we're going to take these nice grand biscuits. We have more than enough, so we're going to take them, we're going to split them in half. These are easily peeled apart. You see the butter in there, which is going to add flavor to our dish. We're just going to layer this evenly. Um, you can feel free to overlap. You can feel free to add a caddy corner. Um, I'm going to overlap mine slightly, very slightly, just to add more body to the dish. Again, we're just going to split it nice and even. It'll easily split, just like so. And again, looking around the, the, the batter, you'll see actually butter and all that good goodness in there. Three on a row is great. Feel free to add more if you like. I think this is actually one of the bigger ones, so I'm actually gonna split this again. Again, you see that nice buttery goodness on the inside. This one may have ripped on me, but we still got a great one out of that. Mm. 
Like I said, three works for me. Do it works for you. Again, I'm gonna rip it apart. It's layers. These are light and fluffy biscuits. This one, I think I can get three out of this one as well. Yep, here we are. Look at that. Don't be fearful that the thin layer of biscuits won't pop up as fluffy as you like. It actually will. Um, these biscuits were actually made just for that. This. Look at this. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Oh, this one may be a slight challenge, but we are able to work it out. Here we are. Again, don't be fearful that the light layer, or thin layer, excuse me, is not enough. It will be. Here we are again. Our last layer. Again, you see the butter in there. See, everything is going to be delectable, it's going to be delicious, it's going to be light and fluffy. Again, here we have the cream of chicken soup, the cream of mushroom soup. We have some mixed vegetables in there. We have some broccoli. We have some cheese. We have some salt and pepper. Again, do the salt and pepper to your heart's content, or you can add any spices that you like. Um, we layer that on top with our Grand's Big Biscuits. With, as you can see, there's butter all throughout the biscuits. This is going to go into the oven for 350 for 50 minutes. Oh my god, guys, this looks amazing. It looks great. I wish I could cut into it, but I can't because we're doing it to Sober Living in Las Vegas. But this is utterly phenomenal. It smells immaculately. It smells delicious. And hope you guys enjoy it.